So we've come to a dairy farm here just outside of Tel Aviv in Israel, and it's probably the largest dairy farm I've ever seen in my life. It's incredibly intensive and it goes back into the distance for maybe 400 meters or so, maybe even further. It's absolutely massive. So behind me here, you can see where all the feces and all the urine has been left just to rot and fester. It's kind of horrific, horrific kind of fluid, really viscous and disgusting. And it kind of goes all the way along into the pen, into this enclosure. And the animals, and these ones are very, very young, and stud it this horrible, greeny, bluey, moldy, festering collection of feces and, and diarrhea and urine. And this is what the left to stand and spend their days in. This mother behind me here just had her newborn baby taken away from her. You can see the remains of the pregnancy, the birth still hanging outside of the vagina. And the baby's still so newborn, so newborn, and still still hanging outside of the mother's vagina. And already they've been separated from their mother, put into a solitary pen. They'll never ever see their mother again. This is what happens in dairy farms all over the world. This is what happens as soon as a mother gives birth, as soon as she gives birth to her child. The farmer comes and takes that baby away from their mother, puts them into these solitary confinement, into these metal pens, and they will never see their mother again, never breastfeed, never cradle, never hug, never see comfort, never be licked by their mother again. Separate and taken away from their mothers forever. Behind me you can see the cows have been milked in the milk and cow. This is what happens when they give a birth and the others start naturally producing milk. They get taken into these big parlors where they'll be milked several times a day. Every day, day in, day out, day in, day out. Until so they become too old and they no longer produce milk because their bodies are too weak or because they're no longer able to produce children. At which point they'll then be taken to slaughter. But this is, again, this is just another part of the dairy industry. This is part of the milking practice. This is what happens 
I heard it in. This is enslavement. This is absolute enslavement. I heard it in. It's going to metal places. They're given no freedom. It's absolute exploitation. This milk that's been pumped here is meant for the babies. The babies would be seen being separated. The babies would be no and taken away from their mothers. This milk that's been pumped for their others is meant for their children. But instead, we take their children away from them, bring them into these sheds, and pump the milk so that we can drink it. It makes absolutely no sense for us to be drinking the milk that comes from the others of another animal. So just leaving the dairy farm now and uh, I wasn't really expecting to see the things that we saw when we came here today. I expected to see the cows like this, but I didn't expect to see the babies being taken from the mothers. I didn't expect to be able to go into the milking parlor and see the cows being milked. It's, uh, I kind of feel like I've seen so many stages now of the process that beforehand I'd only heard described or I'd seen on videos and now to see it first hand and to kind of feel the emotion involved and to see how horrible it is. It's really, um, it's really shaking me and it's really upsetting and it's just not morally justifiable to do these things to animals and, and to see the exploitation in their eyes and see the suffering in their eyes really hits home to you why we do what we do and why we're vegan and why we're activists and why we document this and why we show it to people because it is education and what we have to do is we have to show people what happens, just, you know, film the eyes of these animals, show them what's going on inside these animals, show them as living individuals that think and feel and then people need to stop eating these products. It's the only way to end this cruelty. It's so simple. So we have all the power to end this industry, all the power. This isn't some political thing, it's just simple. We eat these products and this is what the consequence of that is. It's a supply and demand situation. If you don't want babies to be exploited, if you don't want babies to be taken from the mothers, if you don't want animals to be kept in concrete, steel, metal prisons, then stop paying for it to happen. Because that's the only reason it does happen.